All right, Tom Clancy's Splinter Cell Blacklist. I don't really have a uh, plan for this, considering that it was uh, unexpected that I would be done with my Spelunky stream before now, but what the hell, we'll just pick up our campaign, give you a little taste of the gameplay of Splinter Cell Blacklist. It's largely the same as Splinter Cell Conviction, if you're familiar with that. Uh, if not, I highly recommend picking it up because it's probably cheap as hell, and it is a fun as hell game. The general premise of this one is that there is a blacklist of bad crap that is going to happen um, should we let it. And of course, being uh, the wonderful um, espionage person that I am, I'm supposed to try and stop it. Okay. Now I need to remember all the controls for this. This should be under Oh my, I forgot about this. Up the volume of that just a tiny bit. So, there's that little dude. And if that dude sees me, I'm pretty sure I die. So, we're gonna try and... Oh my! Hello. Hello, fella. Oh, you're gonna die. I am playing in the panther style, which is to say that I'm just gonna kill everything. I'm just gonna try and do it quietly. Oh, so there's all that good stuff. Whoa, nope, that's the wrong side of that. So we can do this. Track this fool. And then we're gonna murder him. Because that's what we do. See if we can kill this stupid thing. Turn red. Turn red so I know I'm going to kill it. I have no idea if this will actually work. Okay, so that made a nice loud bang for people to come and try and shoot me over. is going to be somebody that we're going to have to deal with. I am not in the dark here, which I am not a fan of, but we will be here shortly. Um, I want to do something fun to kill this guy. Yeah, why not? All right, that was fun. Oh, there's another guy. Oh no, it's another drone. We're gonna have to deal with another baddie here. Maybe not. Oh, nope, there is a guy up there. Again, not darkness over here. Oh my, that's not cool at all. That was a little scary. I, d I do not claim to be real good at this game, by the way, for what it's worth. Okay, so this guy doesn't seem to know that I'm here, so... We're going to do this and riddle him full of holes after he is stunned. Alright. So, that was exciting. I evidently... Ed, I think I've got confirmation this is the engineers. <coughs> Why? The flash drive. It's using a variant of Triple PES military grade encryption protocols. It's a direct match to the encryption used by Sadiq and Mirawa. Good work, Charlie. Hmm. There is a dead drop there, which is a collectible in this game, so we're gonna grab it, because why not? Uh, these do not normally show up automatically. You need a 
an upgrade to do so, but collecting them gets you more money, more money gets you more stuff, so we always go out of our way to do it. There will also be like high value targets that you need to capture, which you can uh, grab and wrap up. By the way, I'm, I crawl around almost to a fault in this. Whoa, there is a guy right there. Um, I crawl around almost to a fault just because, well, I don't like, uh, I don't like being surprised like that, so. So this is going to be a checkpoint where we can also restock our goodies. This seems to happen quite a bit in this game, so use your gadgets liberally if you're playing. Stop the attack. Hmm. I don't like this at all. Uh, if you're out, if you're, okay, so the glow on the back of uh, Sam Fisher here is something that tells you that you're in shadow. I can see you closing on the filtration plant. There's roof access if you can get up there. And being in shadow makes you considerably harder to see, so obviously it's something worth doing. I could shoot out the lights on that, but I don't see anybody, so, oh, there is somebody on my radar, though. Um, shooting out lights typically will draw attention to the lights, uh, which you can use as a, obviously as a tactic, but, uh, it's not, I don't necessarily like drawing attention all the time unless I intend to. I can hear somebody, but I can't see them. Is there something wrong with my uh, screen, or is that actually nobody chatting in, in the chat room right now? Because I had to restart it, and nobody has said anything since. So I'm just curious if that's just me, or if there's something going on there. Oh, yes, let's stand right out in front of the van. That is exactly what I intend to do. Oh, boy. That's Oh, 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 don't see me, don't see me. Ooh, that was close. Whoa, that guy is right there. He must be above me. Oh. Well, come over here, fool. I want to kill you in a stylish way. All right. Uh, so let's, let's see if this will work. Can I drop it right here? Yeah, <laughs> come over here, fool. Don't pay any attention to these fingertips over the edge here. Seriously? Why can't I kill you? There we go. That was probably not enough to... That's a knockout? Why is that a knockout? Come on, lethal. Shouldn't that have killed him? What? I'm very confused. Uh, so we're going to mark that guy. Uh, those of you familiar with Splinter Cell Conviction, you still have the ability to mark and execute people, uh, which was a new mechanic in that game. Um, uh, but obviously makes a reappearance here. Where is this dude? Oh, there he is. Um, this is probably not the right way to do this. Oh my god, it totally isn't. Run! <laughs> I did not see that other guy there. That could have been disastrous. Uh, so we got to come up with a sneakier way to get rid of this fool. Uh, can I climb up over here? Oh my. No, 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 not really what I meant. Ah. Nothing kills Sam Fisher more than control. No, I want you to keep stupid. Um, I think we're just going to see if we can draw this guy out over here the next time he comes down the stairs. Uh, which might be now. So we're just going to toss this nice and out over there. Wait for him to go by and kill. Except for, that must be the other guy. Yeah, I think that's the other guy. Okay, fine. 
Okay, he could see me there, I guess. But he didn't hear the noisemaker, which is kind of bullshit, but whatever. Can I jump this? No. I wish I had my mark on this guy still. Okay. Okay, now I can see you. Um, hmm. What to do? Use a battering? <laughs> I don't think that's a viable option. Tell me your thank you. He heard it this time. So hopefully he will walk and not look this way. If he does, I will murder him. But I'm going to murder him anyway. Oh, yep. Got, uh, got up to him before he made too much noise. Which is the name of the game in this. So we need something else that we can use should we get into some trouble. Uh, so we'll bust out the tear gas. Okay. And where are you? Oh, up top. Ah, what the hell. We'll just do the execute. And here's a laptop. That's another one of the collectibles. Uh, you have to hold for a little bit to hack, so you can't just, like, super sneak up on it. Uh, but again, more collectibles equals more money. More money equals more fun gadgets to play with. And of course, like other Splinter Cell games... Okay, I can't look under that door, I guess. Uh, like most games... Oh, that's because there's a key card there. Uh, most Splinter Cell games, there's some, you know, various paths you can take. And there is a guy that is not terribly uh, far inside here. But he appears to be looking the other way. We'll give this a shot. Dealing with pros now. They did a clean takeout on the plant's security. It's not just the security, it's all the systems. I'm gonna have to unhack their hack to open that door, or you're not getting to the gunk they're putting in the water. Work fast. I think the thing that I'm trying to do now. <laughs> sad that I don't remember this, but I think the thing that I'm trying to do now is stop a terrorist attack that is going to leak a bunch of nasty water into uh, into the general supply, so um, tear gas is an option uh, we'll have to go to our rifle for that. And I would really like those two to be a little closer together than that. But we'll give it a shot anyway. Because why not? Oh, that works. Okay, that second one counted as a combat kill, which is unfortunate because I'm actually trying to do all panther style. Which is just a bunch of nonsense. That's Got what they're You're good to go, Sam. calling their custodial room. Oh, there was another way in here. That would have been interesting. Every time I play one of these games, I end up seeing like three or four ways into uh, an area that I, you know, after the, after I've already opened it um, and dealt with everybody, it's like, oh, that would have been a fun, fun way to do it. So there must be a guy right below me. Oh, goody, I have a time limit for this. Oh, there totally is a guy right below me. Uh, what about over here? Boy, how I love time limits in games like this. Let me tell you. I'd like to fall. Can I not fall there? Oh, there's a pipe over here. Uh, might have to go... There's a couple of 
the guys over there. Let's see if we can sneak over there and cap them off. Oh, where are these guys? I can't see them with my sonar. Oh my lordy. Oh lordy lordy. Can I just climb up over here? I totally can. Can I kill this guy? Okay. That sucks. This is going to get ugly in a hurry. Drop down. Okay, so that silhouette will make them think that that's where I am. Uh, which hopefully I can use to my advantage. But I'm kind of terrible when this game goes full on combat, so this could be uh, pretty entertaining here. Okay, so that guy's armored, which makes him a super pain in the ass to deal with. Okay. Uh, oops. That's not really what I meant to do. Kind of wanted to cancel that throw, but okay. Oh, I should have turned my notifications off. I apologize. Okay, so this guy's going to get murdered. Where, how, where is this thing that I have to get to? Okay, it's over here. I count on it, buddy. Okay, they're all a ways away. Can I just get away with this? How am I supposed to disable this? Hello? Do I just shoot it? I don't know what to do. Let's try it. Okay. <laughs> that didn't work for shit. <laughs> okay. Get out of tear gas so I can see what the H is going on. Switch back to pistol. Oh. Yeah, still got two guys marked. Okay. Um. Sorry, I'm not doing a very. Yeah, cut the blue wire. Thanks. That might actually work. Okay, so that's everybody on this side. Can I please disable this thing now? Do I have to do A first? Oh no, I just must have missed a prompt somewhere. Just try the button. All right, there we go. I don't know. The guy's good. Keeps locking me out, but I got a few more tricks up my sleeve. Now off to the other side. Blueprints show a service tunnel running under the control room. It'll get you from one side of the plant to the other. Yeah, I found it already, but thanks for the heads up. I would love if I could murder both these guys with a little execute. Yep. Okay, we're going to switch back to our rifle now because I'm nearly out of bullets. I... Where are you? You must be up top. Five minutes to go, Sam. Seriously? You can't kill him? Thank you. Yes. Come this way. Oh my. Well, as long as you kill them before they scream for help, you're good. I'm not going to claim to be good at this game, but I was good, meaning I didn't fuck up. <coughs> I seem to have effectively cut the blue wire on both of these things. Second 
bombs offline. Grim. It's good work, but it's too late. What? Shit. What now? The pathogen's already at infection levels in the water, and the main outflow is still open. Maybe not. Look, he's locking me up from the valve, but I've unlocked the manual override. Get there, and you can shut it by hand. Oh, goody. Oh, my way. So this probably would have been a lot worse if I wouldn't have already killed everyone. And just because I have a little bit of time, we're going to peek under and make sure that there's no one there. Alright, good deal. Okay, you can open the door now. And use this nice big wheel. <coughs> Uh, no, I am not playing on the hardest setting. I play Splinter Cell just for pure enjoyment, so... Facility contained. We're not calling this a streaming the insanity. American consumption and failure. Good work, Sam. Now let's get you out of there. Briggs? Chopper's on the ground. Let's go. Well, that was pretty exciting. Hey. I did something good. So now it's going to score me based on how much I did of different uh, methods. They've got like certain things that fall under certain categories and evidently if you fill up one of those bars you get a mastery uh, token. I don't exactly know what that does for you because I've never gotten one and naturally I was just off of getting the panther one which is the one that I normally uh, like to play for. So yay for almost doing it. Hurrah. Engineers redirected a shipment from a level 5 CDC containment facility at Northwestern. Weaponized plague bacillus. Yeah, that would have pretty much wiped the whole city out. You located a cure yet? Your test results came back negative for infection. Just got the official all clear from Chicago. Hey, you're welcome. Don't pat yourself on the back, Charlie. We got lucky. We slapped together a mission based on hunches. You're right. That's why we won't waste time playing defense. We have another option? Defense is what Sadiq's expecting, what he's planning for. That's why we go on the attack. How? We don't have any targets, and we can't afford to split our focus from the blacklist. We keep playing catch up with the engineers. Sooner or later, we're going to miss. We hunt them down, force them to make mistakes. So that gives you a little bit of an idea of the gameplay. Uh, I'll take a little tour around uh, the ship. This is the Pandora, I want to say. Sam, Charlie's got some new gear he's working on. Um, I think that's Grim. the name of it. What have you got for me? Not a lot of time. Going on the offensive was a great idea, but there's a lot of records to go through. Charlie, any help with this? He is when I can keep his eye on the prize. So about half the time. So 50% more than you thought. So there's uh, there's some little small conversations like that give you a little bit of insight into the characters. Uh, but most of the reason why I talked to her is I want to show the plane upgrades. Uh, you obviously buy these with money, but and it's called the Paladin. Is that what I said before? I don't think it was. I don't know. Anyway, um, you can do things on here, and these kind of give you upgrades to uh, your character. Like, for example, the cockpit do, doing that will allow you to have a radar and then extend the radar range and then there's some prototype weapons and you know as you improve the the ship it does more things for you so that's kind of a neat little thing uh they've kind of turned this into if there's nothing else sam i've got a few leads that need follow-up they've kind of turned this into a like semi rpg kind of thing which is kind of neat it's it's actually something that i really appreciate actually i'll just rather than talking to everybody and wasting your time with uh babble I'll just come over here and use the SMI. This is kind of like command center sort of thing, but it allows you to uh, customize your gear. You can do that from somebody else as well. Uh, and money that you earn in both multiplayer and single player will carry over to these different things. Uh, I've only played uh, campaign-related stuff, so, um, you know, that's... <clears throat> That's where uh, I've made all my money. But going into, you know, these different outfits allows you to upgrade, you know, little things like uh, what sort of gadgets you can bring with you. And these things all cost money. And then once you buy them, some of them will allow you to upgrade specific things. Like, for example, the sticky camera. If you go into that, you can actually attach a flash charge or a plastic explosive to it, which is kind of neat. Um, 
so you can you know upgrade all your goodies this way uh different goggles will allow you to you know see more stuff which is actually pretty cool uh, neat little thing uh, this is one of my favorite parts of this game is the ability to mess around with the different things that you have here and kind of make sam fisher play the the way that you want him to play uh i love these uh you know, uh, each of, as you upgrade different parts of your op suit, you'll notice that it offers, you know, more stealth in the case of this nanopolymer coating, uh, if I were to buy that. And, you know, and then here's more combat-related suits and, and, you know, some other things that are available. Uh, and, you know, all of these different things uh, account for uh, ways that you can upgrade those meters. And the more armor you have, the more damage you can take. The more stealth you have, the more noise you can make with before someone hears you. Weapon handling, obviously, how accurate your shooting will be. Uh, and then, you know, you can, that all, uh, depending on what you're wearing, will also tell you how many gadgets or, or magazines of different weapons you can get. Um, and then the weapons, I should actually show that. The weapons, just as a pistol, as an example... Not only can you upgrade the pistol itself, uh, but once you, or not only can you buy better pistols, but once uh, you've bought one, you can also go in and add options to it. Uh, again, all of which cost money, but all of which allow you to customize your Sam Fisher to put to your playstyle, which is just absolutely amazing. I absolutely love that part of this game. If it weren't for that, this would be, um, you know, just a pretty uh, stock Splinter Cell game in comparison to others. Uh, this screen also acts as your, you know, mission hub. These red missions are the ones that pertain to the campaign, but there's actually, like, side missions now, uh, which can be done co-op or solo uh, style, uh, where you can, you know, do these different things. And I believe that if you can, you'll notice there it says, like, co-op only Briggs. Well, Briggs is a character in the game, and I believe if you do, like, all of Briggs's missions, you get a particular upgrade and, again, all of Cobin's and, and all of Grimm's. And these are neat kind of missions they play you know anywhere between half an hour and an hour from my experience uh they're not particularly easy but i've also tr was trying to do them fairly early on in the in the campaign so uh, you know i didn't have a lot of goodies but all that stuff carries over the spies versus mercs is back from earlier uh earlier splinter cells i believe chaos theory i want to say was the last one that had it but i know i've never personally played it but i know that it was a really loved uh mode that was uh um, you know, appreciated by a lot of people. So I'll definitely have to check that out at some point in time. I don't remember what the gold is. Oh, the gold is, um, the <laughs> there's a thing called shadow net, which kind of gives you this, uh, report of what to do. Um, and then it also lists like challenges that you're close to, uh, you know, grabbing, which is kind of neat. Uh, all of these things like are basically, you know, normal gameplay sort of stuff where once you do it, they award you with money just for doing it. So if, like, if I take this stun kills, you know, I'm four four out of five enemies killed while being stunned by a flashbang. So, you know, if I do that, I can make a quick 10,000. Uh, so, you know, lots of those sorts of challenges. Uh, I can show you where the progress looks like. Uh, so, I mean, it keeps track of all the stuff that you're doing, how far you are into the single player game. 4E is the fourth echelon missions, those are missions that I was talking about. Uh, it shows you what sort of play style you lean towards, uh, you know, all these collectibles below, and then these Ghost Panther Assault uh, mastered things. Like I said, I haven't done it yet, but supposedly, you know, if you do a particular mission, you pick one style, uh, you and can do that effectively, then you uh, you can earn that mastery. I other than achievement purposes and potentially money, I guess I don't know what that really does for you. Um, but then, you know, all sorts of challenges that go along with it. Let me tell you, is in comparison to Conviction, this game has so much stuff to do. I am uh, exceedingly impressed with it. So I'd definitely give it a favorable uh, review if you were to ask me right now off the cuff. Uh, I'm having an absolute blast playing it. Um, but sadly, I think that needs to... Uh, I think that needs to uh, close out the stream for now. Uh, I want to thank you for tuning in. Uh, as always, uh, follow us and like the video if you're watching it later on YouTube. It definitely helps us reach more people. And if you're watching on Twitch, hey, follow us there too so you can see these when we do them live. We're doing it live. So thanks again for tuning in, and we will see you probably tomorrow night with some XCOM Enemy Within. Take her easy.